Hello everyone, this is Keith here, and today I'm taking a look at Punch Club, The Dark Fist, designed and created by Lazy Bear Games and published by Tiny Build. Uh, now one cool thing about this game is right at the bat of the title screen, you'll notice some little features that this game has. You have a share feedback button, which is really cool that they integrate that in the game. You also have Twitch integration, which is really interesting. You can actually, the game can integrate directly with Twitch, which is really interesting. Uh, and then over here at the top left, you add cloud saving. And uh, this game is also on mobile. So they actually integrated the feature so that you can sync your uh, saves between mobile, uh, your tablet, and your uh, PC, which is very cool that they just integrate all that right into the game. Your options are pretty basic. You just have resolution, windowed, retro effect, which just puts scan lines, uh, volume, and, and language. You do have a good bit of languages to choose from. So it's really nice that they try to be uh, inclusive with all the languages. Anyway, yeah, let's just go ahead and hop right in. I got this game through the Humble uh, Jumble Bundle, Jumbo Bundle, the latest one. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is Fight Club, or Punch Club, excuse me. So yeah, Punch Club is a sort of uh, retro-styled... It's, it's styled in the classic, you know, NES, SNES uh, era of like 16-bit uh, games. Uh, and as you can see, it's already got pulp, uh, pulp culture references uh, strewn about. They're everywhere, really, if you look for them. Uh, so I would classify this game as a uh, trainer genre. <coughs> Excuse me. For those of you who don't know, uh, a trainer game is basically a game where uh, you have a character whose skills you try to improve to uh, efficiently complete tasks. Like, for instance, this is a game where you uh, play as like a boxer. Uh, so your objective of the game is to, of course, make sure he's fed, uh, you have enough energy and to work out and build your strength, your agility, your stamina, uh, stuff like that, and also work so you can get money. And, uh, so yeah, the game's pretty basic. Uh, you have your character information up here, you have your statistics, your win rate, uh, your, and then you have perks and traits here. Uh, and if you go down here, you have your fight league. This is where you sign up for fights where you can put your character's stats to the test and see how well he performs. And of course, for completing tasks, you get skills for your skill tree. And there's actually uh, four different skill trees. There's basic skill trees, uh, and then basic skills, and then you start to go to Way of the Bear, which is a uh, strength-oriented uh, skill tree. And then you have Way of the Tiger, which of course is an agility-oriented uh, skill tree. And then Way of the Turtle, which is of course a stamina-oriented uh, skill tree. So yeah, you have a lot of skills to unlock, and um, really, it does matter what you pick, because depending on what you uh, have your character specialize in, if you go down here, there's this little uh, drawing here, or this little like a guide here that the game gives you, which explains uh, the best way to build your character. Um, and it is really important that you pick the right uh, skills in the skill tree that, uh, you know, are relevant to your character's uh, abilities. So yeah, there is definitely a lot that goes into making this game, and you have a limited amount of time for each day, so you do have to spend it wisely, and of course, uh, when you do things like work or exercise, it takes away your energy and your food, so you always got to keep an eye on that. So anyway, yeah, we're going to go ahead and city map, and the city map is how you actually navigate through the uh, game here. You have a cafe here, you can work here, and you can also order pizza, and of course you have pop culture reference right up there. You know, this is where you work delivering pizzas, order pizzas, just stuff like that. Uh, I'm actually going to go back home and rest because my character is sort of tired. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down here. That way my character can get some sleep. Yeah, I think that's enough. And then we're going to go ahead and then go out to... You have a grocery store here, which of course is run by Apu. You know, a pretty obvious reference for anyone who's seen uh, The Simpsons. I'm going to get some food so that way... My character is stocked up, so I can go back to my house and feed my character whenever he gets hungry. You have Mix Office, once again, another reference, a uh, pretty obvious one. And you have culture references up here. So yeah, this is just sort of the game. You sort of spend day by day uh, if, trying to find the best use of your time, you know, whether if it's to work and uh, actually gain some money. Here, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a little bit of work here and gain some money. I'm going to stop. Then we're gonna go to the gym. <coughs> oh crap. Yeah, when you have, yeah, as you see here, you have the little paper clip here which gives you hints 
Uh, yeah. Damn it. Uh, try to run away. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, if you carry lots of money around, there's a higher chance that you'll, um, get mugged. Unfortunately, my character isn't so good right now. So I'm probably gonna lose this fight. Hopefully I don't. But this is how the uh, fighting mechanics works. Uh, it's all like it's purely stat driven. You don't really, you don't actually do anything yourself. Uh, it's just all rolls of the dice. Uh, but basically, uh, as you level your character up and you get new stats and you win fighting leagues and you know fighting tournaments and stuff like that, and you get skills for your skill tree, uh, you just sort of assign them here. Uh, let, me, let me wait till this round is over so I can show you guys how that works. I'm probably going to wind up losing this fight. Well, I'm not doing bad, but I don't think I'm going to get very far. Yeah, see, so this is where you uh, assign your skills to use. Uh, basically, it's exactly what you think it is. You just sort of uh, have all your skills that you've gotten from leveling up your character and developing your skill tree. And you just pick uh, what you think is more effective against the other opponent's skills, like this person seems to punch a lot, uppercut, low kick, lock, and you gotta look at his perks, and you just sort of find the ability that best combat, that best counters that, as well as uses your resources efficiently. Um, for instance, my character does not have a lot of stamina, so I kinda want to focus more on keeping my stamina. Yeah, I'm, yeah. It, so there is a lot of uh, thinking that goes into the combat. Uh, you know, you really got to make sure you pick the right uh, counter abilities, and of course, you got to make sure you develop your character well enough so that you could take full use of your skills and abilities. Yeah, unfortunately, my character is really low on stamina, so every pretty much every hit is going to be a knockout, and he's just going to keep doing lots of damage to me. Oh god, this is really unfortunate. Yeah, I've not been developing my character uh, really well in this game. I'm not too great at these kinds of games. Okay, so we're going to get rid of kick and just do punch. And you also have tactics over here, which changes how your character, uh, you know, changes your strength and weaknesses. But right now, all I have is balanced. <clears throat> I think next hit, my character is going to lose. Most likely. Yeah, damn it. That's really unfortunate. I probably just lost a lot of money. Yeah, half your money. Oh, God, that's a lot. Yeah, I should probably do the bus instead, because that way I'll actually... Uh, I'll get mugged as much. Damn, I need to go back to my house now. And eat, so that way my character isn't too low on resources. Let's actually go to the gym now, so that way I can show you guys how the exercise mechanic uh, works. So you go to the gym, and of course you have to pay $10 to go in. Uh, oh. oh, I've never done this before. Yeah, every now and again you get like special events that happens in areas, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, I've never actually done this before. So there's sort of random events that happen all the time. Like sometimes you can uh, go to stores and they'll be like they'll be getting robbed, and you can choose to help them out. And various events like that can happen just to sort of spice up the game, you know. And uh... oh, my mood is quite low. Hmm. Those things can really help, uh, like just spice up the gameplay and uh, change things. I need to increase my mood. Uh, I believe to do that, I need to watch television. So this is just the game here, is just, you know, uh, spending your time trying to maintain your character's resources and improve their skills and abilities. So 
I think I need to do this in order to improve my mood. There we go. I think I'm going to get it, my mood really high. And every action you do changes your stats in a certain way, for better or worse. Okay, so his mood's pretty high up, and I'm going to eat some food. Might as well eat some of that as well. <clears throat> now I need to rest. So yeah, you'll, you're constantly doing this with this game, managing your character's uh, resources. It's a constant battle to uh, improve your character while also having to acquire money and stuff. Now you don't actually need to go to the gym to train. You have a uh, sporting goods store here where you can actually purchase uh, equipment to use at your home, but that does uh, cost a lot of money. So for now, we're just gonna do the gym. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Just to improve my character's strength, as you can see. We're gonna do this one. I think this one's a good uh, good one to do because it increases both. Oh, this is just strength. There we go. So it's strength and stamina. I find this one to be a good uh, cross between uh, strength and stamina. And then you have the punching bag, which is all three. So you know, there is a lot of there's just a lot of thought that goes in this game. You have to decide, you know, wh which uh, route do you want to build your character. And, uh, you know, do the most, what's most important for your uh, statistics and stuff. So yeah, there's definitely a lot that goes into this game. Uh, and it, it, it can be quite enjoyable. Uh, I can actually see this, uh, it's on mobile, and I can see this being a good mobile game just because of how uh, simple it is. Yeah, so my character's all beat out of doing that exercise, so we're going to do this one. Which I think improves all three stats, I'm not sure. Yeah, there it is. He's going to be getting hungry pretty soon. So sign up starts today, so we'll sign up for that fight actually, so that way we can do that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn, I was one more away from getting the uh, my blue level up there, my agility. So we're going to, yeah, there is a vending machine here, but everything here is vastly overpriced. Uh, but we'll just do an energy drink and a protein bar. Just because I don't want to leave this area right now. Um, can I actually? I think I have to go home in order to eat that, so I think I might have just wasted my, my money there. Oh, that improved my stats immediately. I didn't notice that. Oh, well, I just... <laughs> I didn't even notice that it ate it immediately. So I have a good bit of energy left, so let's do this again. <clears throat> yeah, and you can only do so much of the training before you start to, before it becomes less effective. So let's do something else. Let's do this. I'm actually kind of low on money here, so I think... Yeah, I think it's about time I did uh, some working. some pizza and if you go to uh, mix when you're low on money he'll actually uh, and you're hungry he'll actually feed you so that's a nice little helper for the player but it is limited as you can see there he doesn't help you all the time okay so now we need to do some work so let's go here so yeah the game's very simple and uh, you think it'd get repetitive, but it's actually uh, pretty fun. You know, if you're into just the RPG, basic RPG elements of just building your character, then I think uh, this game will be very enjoyable for you. Uh, because that's basically the game. You know, you just do it day by day, uh, building your character stats, and then you enter them in fights. Uh, so we get, and you can see his improvement slowly but surely he gets better. A very rewarding uh, style of gameplay. <clears throat> and there are the uh, random events that happen that spice up the gameplay, uh, like the storm buggings and stuff like that, that really helps uh, 
weed out some of the repetitiveness. So we'll go here. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's actually work some more. Let's travel by foot to save some money. Should be able to finish this. Uh, okay, next fight is today, so we're going to work as much as we can before the fight starts. Damn it, I'm out of energy. Let's travel by foot. I actually have some skill points to spend, so let me spend those. Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, those are all four. Let's build some energy so I can finish that work. Actually, wait, yeah, I think I can fight right now. So yeah, let's just go ahead and fight right now. Uh, so this is the league fights. Uh, league, completing league fights or even losing in them uh, gives you skill points to spend. So it's important to do these. You don't have to do them. You can choose simply to not do them if you don't think your character is ready. But it is, uh, I think it's pretty important to do these when you can, though. It's because the, the skill points are important to your character's development. So yeah, this game is just very enjoyable for those of uh, for those of you who just enjoy like basic stat building. You know, you just want to see your character uh, grow and become stronger. Yeah, so I seem to be winning this fight pretty <laughs> pretty well. My character's doing pretty good. The one thing that's kind of uh, negative about my character is his energy. Uh, he is mainly. Uh, power attacks so his energy drains fairly quickly which isn't a problem if you can get if you can finish the fight quickly but against someone who has a lot of agility which this uh, person I'm fighting against appears to have uh, you know it can take a while they can dodge very effectively so you have to you know you have to take into account all of your characters or all your opponent's stats and stuff when choosing your skills and training your character um, let's see here I should be able to win this. And there's also, uh, after you, after the fight's over, you have a little chart which sort of lets you know how your character was doing and where some of his weak points and strong points were. Just to, uh, you know, help you train more effectively. Oh yeah. One unfortunate thing is when your energy runs out, uh, if he hits you when your energy and he hits you and your energy hits zero and then he gets a critical attack. Hopefully I can end this before it comes to that. Ooh. Ooh yeah. So yeah, one important thing to notice is when you choose your uh when you choose your skills to use and the little skill choosers are here, it's important to pick the right skill for your character's statistics. Like you see here, I don't have uh, kick selected because it is a uh, attack oriented for uh, agility. And you see here, my agility is probably is easily the weakest point of my character, so I don't really focus on uh, agility so much and focus more on power attacks and uh, stamina, which is punching and dodging. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is the thing I was talking about, where after you win, you get to choose, you get to see some statistics about how. Uh, your character was doing each round uh, so it is important to keep track of this here I just got a good bit of skill points so I can actually uh, pick something here yeah, I think we'll do this we'll do uppercut so my character is my character is focused on strength so I'm gonna choose those and yeah I'll sign up for the next fight anyway so yeah that has been um, Punch Club, uh, very good game. It's a pretty fun game, you know. It's really simple, but it uh, gets the job done. Uh, it's pretty enjoyable if you're fans of training games and just like, like I said, bare RPG elements. You know, just watching your character develop uh, over time. Uh, the game is ten dollars on Steam, and for fourteen dollars you get the game, the deluxe edition of the game, which includes the soundtrack and an exclusive. Uh, art book. I'm actually going to see if the game is on GOG. I'm pretty certain it is. The game is available for uh, Linux, Mac, uh, and Windows. And for mobile, I believe it is on both Android and iOS. I'm going to look it up right now. 
Yep, it is on both. It's on uh, Windows, uh, Linux, OS X, iOS, Android, and the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, supposedly, it's supposed to be coming out October. It should already be out. That's interesting. Yeah, and it is available DRM free on GOG, and the DRM and the GOG version is for all platforms: Mac, Linux, Windows, not the mobile platforms. So anyway, yeah, that has been me taking a look at Punch Club, a very fun indie game. Check it out, guys. See you later.